Hello everyone. Hi again. Welcome to another lecture on C programming. In the previous video, we have discussed about function, and so in today's video, we're going to talk about recursion. So, what is recursion in C programming? What is its importance? We will discuss. Okay. So here, first of all, recursion is one of the most important concept in C programming and also in any other programming language. Okay. So it is a base of dynamic programming. When you will learn data structure, then you can understand what is the importance of recursion. So here now, what is a recursion, guys? So recursion is a process where a function can call itself directly or indirectly. So when a function call itself, then this process is known as recursion. Also, we will solve some problems using recursions like Fibonacci numbers, Tower of Henry. So these are the very various important problems using recursion. Okay, and you will understand these things in more detail in graph chapter, in data structures and tree, and also when we discuss Tower of Hanoi. So there you can understand recursion in more detail. And also when you will learn dynamic programming, then you will understand this recursion in more depth. Okay, so now let's open our Visual Studio code and just write some program using recursion and we will understand the concepts in more detail. Okay, our previous program for user defined function now let's write uh, recursion okay and understand what is recursion so here i'm just going to first create a file name as recursion okay and recursion demo dot c so this is our uh, c program file name and i'm just going to delete that file okay so i'm not going to delete, just close this so here we're going to learn about recursion that is very important so you have understand that the basic thing is that uh, recursion is a kind of function which call itself okay so let's see so we will solve a problem using recursion that is known as a factorial of a number already you know that what is a factorial of a number to real okay suppose you want to calculate factorial of 4 that means you just multiply 4 with its previous value okay so that is the factorial of 4 okay so it is 24 now how can you calculate this value using recursion same way just write everything is common to understand okay very simple I'm just gonna write a function name that is fact that is a factorial and just gonna pass an argument as int n put a semicolon there okay so here, this is the prototype of function declaration. Now just write the main function. In today's video, we're gonna talk about function. Okay. So here we're just gonna write a number like int uh, n is equal to six. I'm just gonna want to calculate uh, percent d. That is uh, factorial of n is equal to percent d and here just i'm going to call a function fact and pass the value n so here you can see that this is our function prototype okay and now here you can see that this is a function call fact of n so where is recursion guys so you can so i've already told that recursion is a function which repeats itself again and again so where it will repeat okay so where it will repeat so you can see here in function definition just write a function in fact and in n so what you gonna see that in uh, recursion okay so in factorial every time you will multiply the number with its lesser number that is suppose you want to calculate factorial of 2 you will refer, uh, multiply uh, the value of 2 with 1 so here you can see that this is 4 is nothing but it is a, a multiplication of 4 with a factorial of 3 you can say because the factorial of 3 is 3 to 1 and 4 is the actual data so in this way you can see that is nothing but n into factorial of 
and minus of 1 that is the logic of our program but now we're going to okay so user defined function here and also so that is when you multiply n with their previous factorial value it will give me us the actual factorial of that number same way okay so here suppose we're going to write here uh return some value that is n with factorial of n minus of 1 you have to write its name okay so can it will uh, give the actual value we want so here you can see every time it will multiply that value and with its lesser value okay but where we stop uh, is that any condition because here uh, now see when this program run first time it says the value is 6 and it will again call the function fact 5 okay next time the value is basically that is a multiplication of 6 with factor of n minus 1 and when it's called 5 with factorial of 4 same way it will go there like uh, when it will become 1 with the uh, factorial of 0 and also when the value becomes okay so when value becomes 0 it will call the function fact of minus 1 but we, you can see uh, when we're going to calculate the factorial of a number we have to only multiply that number up to 1 so we will multiply that value up to 1 not the well, lesser than 1 so here this is the base condition this is the third part of and also you can see that uh, what is the factorial of the argument of 1 factorial of 1 is obviously a uh, factorial of 1 okay that is factorial of 1 is 1 and factorial of 0 is also 0 so we have to write a base condition here so if okay so that if the value of n is lesser than equal to 1 so it will return that value 1 and in the else part we will write it will return the actual function so understand this line this is very important this is known as your base condition okay so this is very important in recursion so also we have two types of recursion tail recursion head recursion so here you can just see that uh, this value okay suppose we just uh, we didn't write any base condition here then you can see that uh, it will never stop and it is known as stack overflow basically so we have to just write a base condition for any recursion function so if you want to calculate any recursion function so you have to write a base condition and that is important here if the value is uh, here suppose it's uh, this function that is uh, the factorial function understand this function so first this will call the fact of 6 and then again this function will call two values okay and and this will uh, call the value as uh, first of all uh, it will multiply n with again a uh, factorial of the lesser value that is 5 and here again uh, that value okay and now again this will call the next value and here the previous value was 6 and so now it's uh, again called a new function that of, is uh, uh, the multiplication of previous value so this this fact this factorial this will basically so multiplication of 5 so with uh, factor of we will write in this 4 and we this factor of 4 basically multiplication of okay. 4 with so here, factorial uh, of we will write 3 and here uh, and this value basically 3 is a, a factorial of 2 and here it is 2 with factorial of 1 so this is our factorial 
recursion tree and it will call each and every value and here if that value is factorial one so it basically one multiply with one so it will return the value one so here if the value of n is lesser than one it will return one so now calculate so here it will first calculate this value that is factorial of one and it will replace that value with one so two into one and now it will call again go for the previous factorial value and it will replace that value with the factorial of 2 that is 2 and here it will replace the factorial of 3 with that value that is 3 into 2 it is 6 and it will replace that value with uh, the previous value that is 24 and again it will go for factorial of 5 and it will calculate that value with 120 and again it will go for there and it will give us 720 that is basically our factorial so you can see that how basically it works okay so we have to write a best condition every time when you use a recursion function it will otherwise otherwise it, it will never stop and the stack is overflow okay so that is very important right now so this is a simple program for factorial of a number i'm just going to save this and run this program so just uh, going to wait and just see what is the actual uh, function recursion okay so it is 720 okay so you can see that that value is 720 so now suppose you want to calculate a new value for factorial suppose you want to calculate for 10 return some data so it is basically here you can see that that is teaser so if this function so it will give data, 3, 6, 2, so we'll 8, 0. That data, that value so that you can see that so for that how basically our recursion works so i'm just gonna wrap up the whole concept so I'm storing the one minute guys addition of that two numbers and uh, yeah uh, when you're gonna calculate a factorial of a number just uh, don't use here a very large number because uh, you cannot store that value in the, inside the integer long integer in c program so if you want to calculate factorial of very large number so you have to use another variable okay so don't uh, try to do this with this uh, a long int long long int with 100 factorial so that is uh, for that we have another way okay calculating factorial so understand this problem this concept first of all recursion what is a recursion recursion is a process when the function call itself so here fact is a function in fact int and okay and it basically here you can see that it basically call itself and where this function uh, the, uh, the when you call that in fact int n it will go inside there and it will check the condition since the value of n is 6 so this condition is false so it will go for the else part and here it will see that uh, it will again call the function same as this so basically this function call itself so again uh, there is a function block so where argument will pass the lesser value than 6 that is 5 again the 5 value will pass from there again check the condition again go inside the function so in this way recursion works so where this stops this stops uh, where there is any base condition so here i'm just putting out down the base condition if the value of uh, that uh, n is lesser than one then it will return value one so here this factorial will return okay so it will stop there otherwise uh, this will never stop so uh, this is recursion it will call itself and we have to write a base condition first in if every time even you're going to practice uh, recursion you have to just write the base condition otherwise it will uh, give us as an extract uh, give a stack power flow okay so that is uh, all about today's lecture guys and this is function prototype function declaration since we have to return something so i'm just going to put an integer since it returned an integer value so this is all about recursion and thanks for watching if you like the video on c programming so please do subscribe the channel and share this video with your friends so the life of this c function inside this ad block only okay so this is